In this final video on managing the Linux desktop, I will show you how you can change the default desktop environment that you get when the system starts up. We know that we can, coming from run level 3, start up any of the three different desktops that we have installed. So I'll just type start X here, or just start so we can see, and I'll tab it out. And sure enough, we still have our three desktops. We have Start KDE, we have Start XFCE, and this one will start GNOME-Session, which is the GNOME desktop environment that we have by default. And from Run Level 3, I can start any of these. But what I want is to change the default desktop that appears or starts up when I boot the system into Run Level 5. And I can do that by editing some more of the xcomp files. So let's go in there. And where we'll go is etc x11 again. I'll do an LL here. Yesterday, or in the last video, we edited that file and changed our display manager. In this video, we'll be going into this directory and editing a file called xclients which is where we can set up our default file. There's actually two ways we can do this, and we'll look at both. So I'll clear my screen here, and I'll do a vi x client right here, and I'll open this file up. From here, I can set what default desktop environment will show up. And if you look way down here on the bottom, by default, it has in the file, it has two references, one for GNOME and one for KDE. Up here, you can actually see that it's setting the variable and it's, it's running a which command to find out where these particular startup files are at. And right here, you can see that it's looking to find if there's a desktop file and if it is, it's going to read that file and run what it finds in there. We can actually create that file. Let's go take a look at that. So if I wanted to, I could, and I'll get out of here, and I'll cd into, actually I'll just create it. Let's see, sysconfig, and now this file does not exist. So I'm going to actually, it has to be named that desktop. And in here, I can put two lines. I can say desktop in capital equals quotes. And then I could put KDE in brackets. And then I can put display manager. I can put display manager equals in double quotes. And I can put KDE in here also. And what that will do is when the system starts up, I will get both the KDE desktop and the KDE display manager at default. Now this is great and this is easy to do and we can switch it around. Sometimes it's a, it, it can be a little bit of a problem to get some of the desktops or a particular display manager to show up here. You have to edit more information in some of the X client files or in the X client file. So what I will typically do, if I know I want a, a particular desktop to show up, I won't even create this file. So I won't even create that file. And I'll go back in to Etsy X11. And what I can do here is just specify the desktop that I want to show up right at this line right here where it says preferred equal. So the only thing I need to do just like this little variable up here what I need to do I'll do a shift control T and I'll type which start KDE I just want to make sure where it is and that's where it's at and then I'll st type start XFCE 4 there you go have to type that won't tab complete for me. So they're both in slash user slash bin. Well, I can take that information now, flip back over to here, and I can put that in that line. So I will. 
and what I can say is user slash user slash bin start <coughs> excuse me KDE and I'll save it now while we're on this subject that that'll let, the next time the system starts up it'll start in KDE there's another small part I want to talk about here and this is this variable display uh, in the uh, system and if I echo dollar sign display whoops echo I get this little bit of information right here and basically what that is saying is that it's displaying on my local machine that's the that's the zero the very first display on the very first screen I can use this knowledge we can have multiple displays so what does that mean we can display things remotely if we want to uh, or we can actually start up different instances of X on our system and get multiple desktops running simultaneously because we understand this why don't we do that we're gonna stay in GNOME we're in GNOME right now I'm going to flip over control alt F2 to get to TTY2 and I'll log in as root and I'm going to tell the system to start X now because I changed the X client file and told it to start KDE when I tell it to start X this time it's gonna read that file and start KDE So let's try that so I will say start and I will specify that it's going to create a new display with that information right there dash dash space colon one says there's already a zero display now I want a one display and that will put that display on F7 by default and I'll press enter and look what happens we're going to get the KDE desktop there it is now if I do a control alt F1 here I go back to my GNOME desktop as a matter of fact I could go back into that file go back down to that line and tell it to XFCE4 switch over to control F3 which is TTY3 log in here and tell it to start X now because I've changed the X clients file and told it to start XFCE4 sure enough when I do this and I have to tell it on another display so this is the third display I have display 0 display 1 and display 2 not 3 2 so I have three displays going on this one virtual machine all running three different desktops in a second here anyway so I'll press that it's my little error message about my host file not being right and but voila we have XFCE so let's go look at this so on TTY1 I'll press control alt F1 I'm running GNOME control alt F7 KDE control alt F eight XFCE now that's pretty darn cool so you can see if you play around with these configuration files you can do more than just change one aspect why I would want to do this because I can and it's and it's fun to be able to do and it teaches you the concept of the display variable so that's the X environment and the basic configuration files around it. Next, in our next lecture series, we'll be looking at YUM and RPM, and I'll show you how to install multiple desktops easily.